As it's been, I think, since 2009, before only one Twitter from Sauce, Mike, Hip Hop Wide, all these. How did you start in the game? Man, uh, I came in the game fresh out of college, uh, working for the Source magazine. Um, started as an intern while I was in college. Uh, got a staff writing gig. Um, you know, a lot of young artists at that time weren't really getting a lot of coverage, so I kind of like went hard to cover them. Guys like Wale, guys like Drake, Big Sean, Wiz Khalifa, those dudes. And uh, by the time I was ready to graduate, they had a full-time gig ready for me. So, you know, I've been running ever since, since from Source Magazine, Hip Hop Wired, Stashed, and now uh, Bleach Report. So now, that's a big move. My, the thing is content director, content manager. What's up? Wait, what's, what's the title of Bleach Report? Uh, managing editor. Uh, we run their uh, Snapchat Discover page, and we do a lot of like artist-athlete relations. How, how dope is that? Man, it's, it's a great place to be, man. Like It's uh, one of the most uh, creatively enticing places that there probably is right now. Um, there's never really a bad answer over there. So, uh, you know, and I've always just really been into sports. I've always been an athlete most of my life, so uh, it was kind of like a natural progression. And you said you did you did so awesome in college, but you have your own now, the stash. Talk to me about that, having your own blog. Yeah, man. Uh, I was running the stash for about four years with uh, Steve Stout out of translation at AHC. Shout out to him, a uh, legendary figure in the game. And he gave me a great uh, platform and spotlight to really do what I do best. And uh, I couldn't have been where I am without him. So, you know, running that and do, turning that into a magazine, turning that into a podcast network, turning that into a successful website, um, getting to travel the world and do a lot of that stuff. Uh, a lot of that was thanks to him. So, um, you know, Stashed was definitely my vision, but, you know, he was the guy who made that vision come true. So, you know, shout so out my, to my, my business partner, Amamo, he wouldn't let me talk to you without talking about Rasa Rap. So I'm not a Rasa Rap. He's a huge fan. I know this is WrestleMania. Yeah. So you wanted to ask you how you feel about the Hall of, Night, um, Hall of Fame, um, Kurt Angle. Um, what's coming from Royce wants to hear your take on Rasa Rap right now. Yeah, man. Actually, we, we're heading back to WrestleMania right now. As soon as we get out of here, we go back to Orlando. But we just came from Orlando last night. We had Wale Mania last night in a, a tier nightclub in Orlando. We had had every single wrestler you could think of in the building and it was definitely like Russell rap was like based on the moments like that you know what I mean like it was there's a, there's a there's like somebody tweeted this out earlier and shout out to whoever tweeted this but he said like while a mania exists in a Venn diagram that I didn't know existed and that was the point you know what I mean like there's hip-hop fans and wrestling fans and that intersection was was beautiful last night so I mean last night we had guys like uh, you know Eric Bischoff Samoa Joe Lana Kelly Kelly, Tori Wilson, Victoria, um, uh, Adam Cole, EC3, Moose, Apollo Crews, The New Day, uh, Jesus Christ, I know I'm forgetting people, M MVP, uh, The Bullet Club, uh, golly gee whiz, um, every wrestler you could think of, uh, The Usos, shout out to The Usos, they was out there, um, they, and, and you know what, And it was a time to... It was a time to get them to take their cool off because we think of WrestleMania like All Star Weekend, like the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and they didn't really have they don't really have events like that that bring in that cool factor, bring in that like that intersection of just culture and just being able to be like people in the limelight. So it was it was nice to see them all come out, show love to Wale, show love to MLW and Court Bauer and those guys, and uh, you know the wrestling and music and hip hop connections continues to grow. And lastly, when can we get Henny Blues out there in the Bahamas? Oh, man. Sooner than you think. Sooner than you think, bro. Uh, we're going to St. Thomas in about a month. And that's kind of like our test run because we, uh, we did the Bermuda a couple years ago. Uh, St. Thomas was uh, in a couple of weeks. So if all goes well with that, we're going to be here sooner than you think, man. So I was, uh, if I was a betting man, late 2017, early 2018, we'll probably be here. Definitely. So good catch you, but you and enjoy Lando. Thank you. Bro. Oh, bro. Yeah. Thanks for having me, man. Beautiful country. And uh, shout out to everybody in the Bahamas. I can't wait to come back and uh, keep following the support. It means a lot, man. Thank you for thank you for all this. Enough respect, man. Definitely, man. You have a good one, all right? You, you take care. Yeah, man.